In addition to exporting data from your tables and your queries, you can also export data found in your reports. As you can see here, I got my sales and profit report. And I want to export the data in here to a CSV file or comma separated value file. The only problem is, is that when it comes to exporting in a CSV file, it won't allow me to separate or keep out the formatting. So it's going to be quite a bit messy. And I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of the report. And when it comes to exporting, I usually come up here to the external data tab to the export group and then choose one of the options here. Instead, you can also do it another way by right clicking, and in this case on the sales and profit report, down to export and click on the text file. I want to change it from the extension txt text to csv so it's a comma separated value and then of course change the folder is going to be dumping or saving this export into the documents by clicking on the browse button going to my desktop double click on the exercise folder and click save you see right here where it has it faded I can uncheck the export data with formatting as long as that's checked it's going to include the formatting and it won't bring up the wizard that allows me to separate the columns by choosing my delimiters. So it's going to export everything. Click OK. We want to make sure it's the Windows default. Click OK. It's done. Close out. I'm going to go ahead and maximize my exercise folder there. And there it is, the salesandprofit.csv file. When I double click and open it up, because it wanted to keep the formatting, and I can't choose how I want to set my columns or structure by choosing my delimiters, Look how messy it gets. In fact, when I click in this cell here, you can see it's got the delimiter, it looks more like a tab in between, and it's all in one cell. Because when I click in this cell, there's nothing there. When I click in the first cell, that whole cell has it stretched across all the way to the end here, transaction date. And in fact, when I click the expendable box here, it goes on to on order. And that's all found in one cell. Now there is a feature on the data tab where you can turn your text to columns where you can break this up, actually define your delimiters, and I have that in my Excel training video, you want to watch that. So in this case it might be easier if you just go ahead and export your data from a query that gives us the wizard to be able to set the delimiters in this case to separate and break up our columns here instead of dumping all the fields into one cell. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.